a question through the iPad. I'll direct this one to Louis. We're talking about differentiation. Your Maradati is very centered on student, student learning rather than just a one size fits all approach. How best do we find students' best abilities and then how do we cater for the higher end students and differentiate effectively rather than just tokenistically? I mean, to answer within one minute is almost impossible. So, first, I'm a Gonski fan who talks about individualised, tailored learning, which is what we're on about. Reality is, I don't. We are so far from being able to do that. Mm. One, the expectations on a teachers, and one of the reasons they're leaving in droves, they do not have the time. And children are presenting in such complex ways. Anxiety is a good example. How that looks can often be interpreted as, you know, this child that has, you know, is bad or, or difficult or troublesome. So I think we've got a long way to go to be able to support that. And I think that's one dimension. So we're talking about, you know, how does this child present, if you like. In terms of learning, I mean, I feel very fortunate because, yes, I have had a lot of experience and my group I currently work with is 16, which is quite large for Maradati. But at the same time, I'm working with, um, you know, I work in a team. Everything is shared. I think we have four or five adults as part of that team. So we're able to, a part of that's relationship, which is, you know, how do you get to know? Um, interests, fascinations are really, we, we think a lot of people, a lot of education systems are more interested in what children can't do. We start with what they can do. So what they're interested in, what they're fascinated, mm -hmm. get to know them, connection again, you know, what drives them. You know, at the same time, you know, it, it, we talk about connection. I think that's the key in terms of, getting under their skin, which is trying to work out how they tick. The other thing, we have open conversations about what I'm good at and what I suck at. Children at the moment are under so much pressure. Parents are unrealistic. Children have, you know, a, a something that fires them up. I think that's the starting point. And also get them to understand that it's really okay not to be so good at everything. This, I think that's just bullshit, quite frankly. I think that that's a starting point. The cool part is if you get them fired up about what they do like and what they are interested in, what we find is they'll come and say, hey, listen, I'm not really good at this, but gee, I'd like it. Because if I can do that, that means I can do that. So you've got them then starting to use that, I think, that beginning point and drive and motivate them to do things that are more challenging, more difficult than they find. Mm -hmm.